And so with that, welcome back to room 302. We're almost ready for the final battle again, but before we go there... I had wondered where the final document was that I had apparently missed reading. It shows up right before the final battle, here in the storage room. Right there. It's a piece of paper. He used this place as the locus for the creation of his world. I'm certain he must have performed the ritual of the Holy Assumption near here, but I'm just not strong enough to stop him any more. He locked me up in this room and played with me just like a toy. My eyes are starting to go blind. The pain. I can feel my body starting to die, but things are taken care of. Whoever lives here after me, you'll be the twenty-first, the last of the sacrifices. I leave it up to you. When the bell tolls, the ritual begins. Eileen equals mother's body, blood. Part of the mother's flesh equals the super's room. This is all that I've been able to figure out. I hope this letter gets to you in time. Joseph Schreiber And so we get Joseph's letter. That apparently was the last document I had missed. I had no idea it showed up in here. So anyway, with that out of the way, all that's left is the final battle with Walter, once again. So this time, I haven't been clearing any hauntings from my apartment, so yeah, that's pretty much a lost cause. But I've been taking really good care of Eileen. Surprisingly, taking her with me rather than leaving her behind, I think she came through the game better off than she did last time. So she should easily survive the final conflict. So I'll be back once Walter's almost dead again. Okay, there we go. Walter is dead again, and Eileen survived. So thus far, this is pretty much looking like the good ending, the escape ending. But there are some key differences coming up.
back to South Ashfield Heights now. Because, yeah, doesn't it look inviting? So with that, back after the end credits. And so with that, we got the mother ending. You can also notice here that we found all 52 memo items, so that's nice, and we seem to have gotten a better end rank because of that. So anyway, what this ending seems to tell us is that Walter's influence is not fully gone from this world. Room 302 has definitely seen better days, and Eileen can't seem to bring herself to leave South Ashfield Heights. Still, there's one more ending to get. That of the apartment being completely trashed and Eileen not surviving. So, back in a moment with that ending. So I just have Eileen at mid-level possession this time, rather than as far as gone as she was the last time I went for one of the endings where she dies. If you're fast enough, you could possibly save her at this level. I'm not really sure. But that's not really what we're going for this time. <laughs> Certainly nice to know you can dodge bullets. And I'm definitely finding power attacks are better to go with for this fight. Praise be to invincibility frames. It's still tricky to time the bullets and actually dodge them, but it is possible. I'm not sure how many more hits it's going to take to actually kill Walter, so I need to make sure Eileen goes ahead and gets in there. There we go. Oh, why did my charge not go off? Okay, there we go. So, time for the final ending. Our apartment is terrible, Eileen didn't survive. I'm sure this'll be nice and happy. Stay with you forever. 
And now the news. Yesterday, in Ashfield and the woods near Silent Hill, the bodies of five apparent murder victims and a sixth severely wounded female were discovered. The woman was immediately rushed to St. Jerome's Hospital, but died a short time later of her injuries. She has been identified as a Miss Eileen Galvin of Ashfield. The last body discovered was found in room 302 of the South Ashfield Heights Apartments. It is believed to be that of its occupant, Henry Townsend. The body was reportedly disfigured beyond recognition, making identification impossible. Once again, we've got late-breaking news. Five unnamed police officers have been found dead, for reasons unknown, in the South Ashfield Heights Apartments, along with its superintendent, Mr. Frank Sunderland. All other residents of South Ashfield Heights have been rushed to St. Jerome's Hospital, many complaining of severe chest pain. These strange incidents are similar to the ones which occurred in Silent Hill some years ago. More news to follow. So, yeah, back after the credits. So, yeah, that was the 21 Sacraments ending. And I think I speak for all of us when I say, huh? That was weird even by bad ending standards. I mean, just suddenly migraine of death from nowhere that didn't even actually seem to outright kill Henry... Walter's dead on the ground, yet shows up back in the apartment just fine. And in the apartment, the news report says that Henry is dead. I just can't really make sense of what happened there. That... Eh. Were I doing the bad ending here, I would have done things a little bit differently to have more impact of a you-done-messed-up kind of feeling. I would have had it so that Walter is lying prone on the ground, almost dead but not quite, and Henry's just about to make the final strike with his weapon of choice. But then, suddenly, a hand grabs his wrist, still wrapped in bandages. It's the hand of Eileen Galvin, appearing now as victim 20 of 21. She's sitting there in her victim ghost form, the aura starting to have an effect on him, and that gives him the headache of death. And he starts collapsing, and as he does, the other victim ghosts start gathering around him. And then, the last thing you see through Henry's point of view is Walter getting up, giving his creepy laugh, and then shooting you dead. I think, personally, that would have been a better 21 Sacraments ending, and more of a clear show of, well, looks like Walter won. This ending was just... I don't know. <laughs> Even for a bad ending, it felt disappointing and lackluster. Anyway, with that, we've seen all the endings. So, all that's left is a little bit of loose end cleanup, talking about end ranks and unlockables, and that'll be in the next video. So until then, thank you very much for watching, I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well.